Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and happy St. Patrick's Day. We like to celebrate St. Patrick's Day by honoring Irish culture and by dressing in green and looking for rainbows and trying to find the tricky tricksters, the leprechauns. So let's celebrate together in rockin' story time. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, are you ready to stomp? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So today we're gonna to be reading some St. Patrick's Day stories. So St. Patrick's Day is what we're gonna use for our bread and butter rhyme today. Can you say St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it's a good one. Let's start off with bread and butter. We're gonna clap our hands and clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say St. Patrick's Day as fast as we can. St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. It was a little tricky. St. Patrick's Day, 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 St. Patrick's Day. How are you doing at home? It's fun doing a long one, isn't it? St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. That was a good one. Let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say St. Patrick's Day as slowly as we can. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that was a good one. All right, let's start with our first word, saint. That starts with the letter S. S saint. And then our next word is Patrick's with a P. P, -p, -p Patrick's. And then our last word is day. D. Day starts with a D. Day. Great job, everyone. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say St. Patrick's Day as loud as we can. St. Patrick's Day. Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say St. Patrick's Day as quiet as we can. St. Patrick's Day. Great job. Let's see what our first St. Patrick's Day story is today. And this is, Twas the Night Before St. Patrick's Day by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Woomer. So the night before St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, here we go. We're looking at a March calendar. The 17th is St. Patrick's Day and it's the day before. "'Twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day we wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out their den from their ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore." You see the little shamrock shapes around? There they are. Oh, and even on the light, they have shamrocks on the light too. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he'd buried his big pot of gold. So they've drawn out a plan. They're gonna lure out the leprechaun with a nice shiny ring and they have a little trap set. But look, Here's the leprechaun. I think the leprechaun knows what they're up to. So the legend says if you catch a leprechaun, they'll tell you where their gold is buried. Do you think they'll be able to find the leprechaun? Let's see. They set out their traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irish man soon would be there. They have all kinds of traps. I like this one here with the little stairs. 
The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of gold rings dancing in their heads. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish tune. Mom dished out green eggs and sang la oh. oh, an old Irish song. He played an old Irish song and mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. Look at them. <laughs> Looks like they're having a lot of fun. When from the bedroom arose such a clatter, the kids ran to the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? But a bed, a terrible mess. The leprechaun was here. Look what the leprechaun did to their bedroom. It's all a mess, but look what else I can see. Can you see little footprints? Do you think that's what that is? Little footprints around on the ground? Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed the muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard something giggling. <laughs> a real life leprechaun. They both saw him wiggling. Oh, there he is. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hands clasped a trinket so gold and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eye. Tell us where your gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. They got the location of the gold. It's in the backyard on a, on a rock that's marked with an X. Do you think they're gonna find it? I don't know, marked with an X, a rock in the backyard. Seems like they'll be able to find it. Let's see. Uh-oh. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Look, the leprechaun has marked the right stone with an X, but also he's marked every rock with an X. Very tricky. <laughs> ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you and better luck next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. That was a great story. I think we're ready to get up and pretend to be our own leprechaun. Can you pretend to be a leprechaun? Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest man you've ever seen. If you catch me, do you think you can catch the leprechaun? Let's catch the leprechaun in our hands. If you catch me, so it's told, you will get a pot of gold. Great job, everyone. Let's try one more verse. I'm a little leprechaun, imagine that, with green boots and a big green hat. <laughs> At the end of the rainbow, so it's told, you will get a pot of gold. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So what they say is you can catch the leprechaun and trick them, and get the pot of gold, or you can follow the rainbow to the pot of gold. It's pretty fun. Let's sing a rainbow song together. Here, we're gonna sing a rainbow song. It goes like this. Red and orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet too. 
These are the colors that we know, shining bright in the rainbow. Red and orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet too. Great job, everyone. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? We're going to name all the colors in a rainbow. Red and orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet too. These are the colors that we know, shining bright in the rainbow. Red and orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet too. Great job, everyone. I think it's time for our second and final story. Our last St. Patrick's Day story today is Baby Loves Photosynthesis on St. Patrick's Day by Ruth Spiro, illustrated by Irene Chan. Now, this is part of the Baby Loves Science series, and it has a lot of fun pictures, but it usually has some pretty hard concepts in it. But it's usually a fun one to kind of grab a few, a few pages out of to use for a basic homeschool lesson or teaching your, your young ones at home. So this is the complicated subject of photosynthesis on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Let's see. Baby is wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. Look, green pants, green shirt. Hmm, what is St. Patrick's Day? It's a holiday honoring the patron saint of Ireland. Long ago, St. Patrick's Day began as a religious feast. When people from Ireland came to America, they brought customs from their homeland. So that's like traditions. They brought things that they, that they would all do together. They celebrated St. Patrick's Day to show pride for their heritage. They started new traditions too. On St. Patrick's Day, baby wears green. Baby reads stories about magical leprechauns. We did that too, didn't we? We read a story about a magical leprechaun. And baby gathers shamrocks or clovers. Here, we have a, we have one right here. This is a shamrock or a clover. Most shamrocks have three leaves. We have one, two, three. Most have three leaves, but the lucky ones have four. So look, baby's gonna look around for a four leaf clover. I think there's one right here. They're a lot harder to find. What makes clovers and other plants grow? Photosynthesis. Do you think you can say that? It's a really hard word. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, yeah. Photosynthesis means built with light, like light from the sun, built with light. The clover's leaves are made of cells. Inside the cells are the, are the, uh, the chloroplast. Here's the chloroplast, and inside the chloroplast is the chlorophyll. Chloroplast stores light energy from the sun. So look, the sun comes shining down and the chlorophyll absorbs the red and blue light and reflects the green. You see the sunshine coming down? Here's the sunshine coming down on the plant so that clovers look green. The clover takes in carbon dioxide from the air through tiny openings in the leaf called stomata. It takes in water from the soil through the roots. Look, the clover sucking up water from the ground and it's getting the sunshine from the sun. Inside the chloroplast, the stored energy changes water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. Sugar helps the clover to grow. The clover releases oxygen into the air. Animals and humans, like baby and like us, breathe in oxygen. We need oxygen to breathe. Ah, and look, all those green plants, all those clovers are helping us breathe. Families celebrate St. Patrick's Day in different ways. They may attend church or share a special meal with others, or they might go to a parade. Not all babies, uh, not all of baby's friends celebrate St. Patrick's Day, but they can all help with a search for the lucky four-leaf clover. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. 
Look, there are all the babies. They're holding onto their three-leaf clover. You think you can see a four-leaf clover down there? They're hard to spot. I think I see one by the dog. Is that one a four-leafed clover right there? Yeah, right there, there's a four-leaf clover. <laughs> the end. Great listening, everyone. I think we're ready to stand up and find our heads and dance to head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Great job, everyone. You think we can do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today and Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose and boob. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Have a wonderful day. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. And don't forget, we do have in-person story times on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 1030 if you want to stop by. See you all soon. Bye-bye.